What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Jackson Files. Um, for those of you that know that I've been following the Summer Wells case um, and Rhodes Bly disappearance um, very, very closely, and uh, I just happened to be browsing on Facebook the other day when I came across somebody that was friends with both Candace Wells and uh, Grandis Candy Hare. And this this woman stuck out to me. Like, obviously, the two pictures right here are the Rose Bly ones that are on the FBI website. This is the older one in 2009, and then the age projection, I believe. And um, the two on the sides, on each side, are the ones of the Facebook profile. And I'm just kind of curious to what you guys think, because I can see the resemblance um, between this woman and Rose Bly quite a bit so, especially on the teeth area. You know, this is the, the one of Rose, and this is the one of this woman. It's the, the two middle teeth are definitely, uh, you know, making me think that this could possibly be Rose. And the strange thing about it is on one of the photos, as you can see here, there's a comment from Candy Hare. This great picture, you do look a lot like your mom, love ya. You know, it's, you know, it's probably harmless. I, I, I assume this isn't Rose. Uh, I, I don't know, but I assume it's not, because if it is, that, that would be insane. But this this message definitely made me think, you know, great picture. You do look a lot like your mom. Love you. It just kind of made me think, it, you know, maybe that was like a secret message right there where her mom was telling her that she loved her. You know, I have no idea. You know, I don't know why Rose would have left. You know, it's one thing to leave a husband, you know, that in an abusive relationship, but it's another thing to leave your two children. Um, and I believe they were very, very young. Um, so, yeah. No idea if this is really Rose. I did turn this into the uh, TBI and the FBI just in case, but just kind of wondering what your thoughts are. Um, if you think this woman could possibly be Rose, maybe it's another family member that I'm just not aware of because I don't know this family. But nonetheless, it was just uh, something that caught my eye and you know, that I wanted to put out there. And I have another section here where it shows you she's friends with Candace Wells. Friends with Candy Hare. On Facebook, it says that she's from Beloit, Wisconsin. Now lives in Springfield, Illinois. And it says that she went to high school, Florida, at Boone High School, and that she works at Sonic. No idea if that's true or not, but, you know, and then when you go back here, you have to make this smaller to be. Right here. This is the the older project or the age projection of Rose. And then if I if I put the photo of this other woman transparent over it, and granted it's not the same position, but he where could be her. You know, like the position of the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Maybe a little bit more weight on her, and obviously more age. Really makes me think. And I'll put the link to this as well in the description so you guys can check it out too. And the other thing I wanted to talk about in the video is during one of my um, compilation videos about Summer Wells uh, two nights ago, somebody came into the chat. And said that they were Candace's mother. The screen name was Don't Do That. It says, I'm Candace's mother. Summer broke her neck going down to basement. She fell down the steps. She was half asleep when we got home. Candace wanted to call 911. But Donald told her, no, I'm coming home. And so I was like shocked at first. And I put like the three dots. I said, can you send me proof somehow that you're Candace's mother? And they said, need to take a cadaver dogs. He placed her in the wall in one of them houses he was working on. My daughter is not getting the blame for this. She is scared of him. And, um, you know, obviously I, I still think it's probably nothing and just somebody trolling. But uh, the troubling thing that, like, makes me think is after all that, she said, I don't care if you're here, Donald. Which really, really, like... 
makes me feel weird about it. Like, I feel like if it was just a troll, they would have said, I don't care if you're here, Don. You know? When they said, I don't care if you're here, Donald, it just kind of, like, made me think. I did send this to TBI as well, but just wanted to you know, share this with everybody to see if you guys had any other information. It's not uh, not for clickbait or anything. It's two things I'm generally uh, wondering about, this and the Rose Bly thing. And after this, after she said, I don't care if you're here, Donald, I said, uh, you know, don't do that. If you'd like to email me privately, you know, and tell me about this, you know, I'd be happy to help you in any way that I can. And she, and they said, okay. And then they deleted all of the other messages. So I have no idea. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I appreciate you tuning in to the Jackson files. Um, and those of you that tune into my other videos, um, I really appreciate you guys helping spread awareness about summer. So hopefully we can figure out what's going on and what happened. Um, thank you for tuning in. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. I wanna look up at the sky.